Hi everybody, welcome to my work channel. My name is Michael Mark and I am Cambodian. So all kind of this real life from the poor young people from Cambodia. Video by Putak and Puwet that he doing charity work at Cambodia and he travel across the country to helping those poor and give some mindset and help some donation from people who live in the United States and give to them and helping them the best they can. ไผ่แพมไผ่แพมอึ้งจังให้ปอนตึงปีคือมีสรกกำนัดในข้างหน้าได้ไอ้กุ้งฉนางคาดกับกุ้งฉนางจ้าเราสรกไอ้เกี้
she is sick today. She couldn't go to work. She's taking off. So Red Soon, she is 25. She has four brothers and herself. The total of her family is five. Her mom has five kids. Four brothers and one girl is her. One nice is her sister's in law because one night brother is her husband. It means like one night brother is separate husband, and then they both just sister in law. You can see this, they call it a home that they build with a rusted tin roof and wall. And she had to spend to rent this home $30 a month. And she had to pay for a electrical bill $12.50. When I work as the contractor like her husband, make a little money for her living, buying food, clothes, and paying rent. She doesn't have enough money to save. And her parents got a big debt from someone that her father got sick and the other reason they need the money to spend to cover all those things. But right now her mom lives in monastery she could not afford to pay that debt because she's getting old, she couldn't work. And the lenders put the big debt on her because it's a large interest. You know how much the interest is? At $100, the interest a month is $20. That's the cheaper one. That's why they get into the big trap of the debt and their life get poor and poor and no job available around the only way like they're working earning little money and if their family getting sick like her husband she have to get money somehow to lend somebody and to get her husband for the medical care or take to the hospital. And after that, her kid getting sick, she had to loan some money too and to pay for those expenses for the treatment. Also, the food supply every day, she need to supply her family because both of them, one family, they got five kids, and the other family, they got six kids. But mostly in the United States, we only have one or two or three, and some without kids. But over there, they didn't have much education because during the wars, after the war, they have no school. But right now, you can see the three kids and mostly poor people that live in around Cambodian rural and they so broke and they couldn't even afford to send their kid to school one dollars a day. But some school it have a long distance. They cannot walk to get there. They have to have the bicycle to get faster to the school. But their parents have to go to work or take care of something else too. They didn't have time to take the kid go to school too. Yes, a lot of reason that why the kid cannot have in the school and they didn't have any education in the future and the parents just despair. They're giving up and then they just live the way it is, do the best they can. The real example, like one night her mom has five kids and they got the big debt 
and she could not send the kid go to school, and the kid get no education and more understandings around. It's not very well, and they have to work labor job or available what job they can. That's how they raise the kid. Nobody to blame because that's the way it is. Because the whole country is just like that. It's not only our country in Cambodia. The other country, it's the same system that they run. That's how it is. And one night, she had to struggle in her life. 18 years old, only hope get married, maybe get better. But after that, she just moved out of her village to live in here. It probably get another opportunity to rebuild her life different from her mom. And so right soon, 25, right now she got three kids. It's the same thing, you know, like the domino. She moved here, the same thing, uh, want to be better life. But of course from the basic family it start without nothing and the same like her she will get nothing. How about her three kids? It no future, no school, no education. You see like this a little home she ran with both of them, thirty dollar a month. And she had to pay for electric bill twelve dollar fifty cents. And how about the other expense? Yeah, their life is so much going down and you're not going up and no hope. So, Putak and Fuwut went there to interview them and get some answers and their previous history from the past. And Putak and Fuwut got some donation that sent from the United States, her name, Mrs. Ri, sent to him, and she wanted to help all the poor people that live in the hot condition, hot situation, and but right now only can help $25 for each. But Putak asked them, did anybody come to help you? and give you some uh, support like that or some money to help you out and she said no nobody in her life only you so uh, this thing that why I try my best I stay in the United States to helping them making some video and contact with who would and put to work together but right now I'm working with them like as a team I don't have the spare time, but this time I have to do it and spend a lot of time to do video and discuss and we have conversation every day to discuss about other problem and try to find a way to helping them. We didn't have many sponsors or donators, but we start from nothing and from little. But now it start to have some people interested and they feel so much compassion and pity whatever the situation over there that we took this video and explained to them how in Cambodian people get really hard and struggle in their life for their living. I mentioned again like this small home Built with the little wood and the wall, built from rusty tin and the roof too, rusty tin and, and hard like in the oven. And they put it for rent, you can see that. $30 a month and they pay for electrical too, $12.50. And how can she get the water supply? It's the lake nearby her backyard and then they have to go take the not clean water to use it for cooking, taking shower and mostly 
that they needed water, they used the mud. It's not like in the United States, we have the clean water. That's why it cost to their health, it's not stay for healthy. That's why mostly those young ladies always getting sick. And some people you can see, they get older than their age. You see this girl, her name Vanice, she only 18 years old. And the other one, Sarah Tsun, she only 25 years old. They get older than their age. So I really appreciate and thank you very much for Mrs. Ree for donate to helping them to relieve the hunger or to relieve the start and to help them make them a little happy in their life and change little futures. Thank you for your watching. If you would like to help, please share the video to the world can see it. And probably some kindly donators or they have the special gift, a general gift to give to them. And you guys can contact me or leave the comment and we will work from there. If you guys like this video and my channel, my works, and would like to support, please click subscribe and click notification bell to get new video upload to my channel and you can see on time. Thank you for your watching and happy holiday and happy new year guys. Have a great time. Bye bye now.